Hey everyone, how are you live streaming? You Eric Lee here. You're watching another episode EML 77 TV episode 260. What's going on? Wow, you talk about changes. Um, we know it's still springtime. Um, summer won't be until 13 in 13 days. We have 13 days left of spring. We'll go to the summer. It feels like summer outside already. Um, you know, that's how New England weather sometimes works. We go jump from winter to summer. You know what I'm saying? But we have some decent spring like weather, so this is good. So, I mean, the spring the spring was climbing up there. We had a wet April, a decent May, and now a pretty good June so far. So, uh, so I've been I've been lucky enough to work um, outside without having to use. Well, I did wear my uh, poncho. I think it's past Friday, but it didn't rain at all. Or it's a Thursday, but it didn't rain much. So it's like, eh, pa, you know, what's going on these weather people? They're crazy, right? Um, you notice anything different? I'm, not, I'm sure you guys would like probably comment on this, and if not, that's all right. I'm cool with it. I'm sure a lot of noise will say, Eric, your room's kind of different. What's going on? So, yeah, I just, um, all day today, this is Saturday, June the 8th, all day today, I have re decided to do some reorganization of this room. As you know, as you know, oh, ugh. nice try, Rafi. Uh, well, anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, all day today I did reorganization. Here's the deal. All right, here's here's the four one one the situation. Okay, let me just sit up here so I can talk to you very properly, like a true gentleman here, like a gentleman here. Um, this past Thursday I bought three crates from the soon to be closed. Um, pay less shoe stores. And you say, why crates? Why do you sell crates? Well, there's, whenever a store closes, they, not only do they, they put everything, all the merchandise they have up on sale, they, also their fixtures are on sale as well. And that's the way, and that's the way it is. And they figure, you know, make some more money before, you know, going out, <clears throat> getting out of business for good. So I went there the other day and I bought, and I had a hunch that I might need some crates. So, I have bought three big, humongous, great crates. As you know, there's two right here. I've already filled them up with DVDs and the magazines, video game magazines on top, as you know. To make some changes. I made some changes. There's my first one up there. You see some, um, as you can see, there's Pac-Man, Power Rangers, and all that good stuff. And over, he over here, I, that's why I moved the, uh, the CD rack over here. But the webcam can be on top of that CD rack where I could do my Get These Thumbs episodes. And over here, made some changes over here. Excuse me. Over here, made some changes right there. I should have used my GoPro cam. I would have show, shown you guys a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, those are the changes. And behind me, usually it's blocked up with video game books or art video game art books. But now I moved them all over here. On the other side, where my I should point because my point is different over here, which is pretty cool. And uh, I actually have a mirror I can look into just in case if I want to dress nice and uh, make sure my tie is my tie straight and everything else. And uh, so there it is. So my room looks a little different now than uh, you know. So normally, what you saw in previous videos, a lot has changed. I. Uh, as you know, summer coming up is going to be really, really interesting, to say the least. Uh, as you know, the Welland City Festival is coming back, and uh, I'm going to talk more about that on, on a later episode. I want to try to get to it um, as soon as I can. Um, I want to give you some information if you want to contact, you want to make the Welland City Festival great again. I know usually people from out of town usually stops on by um, New Bedford and Butler Park for, for doing some vendors. You know, we had Fiesta shows. We're going to have Showcase Pro Wrestling come to town. I'm really excited. It's July 11th to the 14th, so I'm really excited about that. It's pay week in the middle of that as well. So I'm excited. Um, really looking forward to it, no doubt in my mind. I'm um, also looking forward to the Portuguese Feast in August, the beginning of August. The only thing I'm not looking forward to in during the summer will be the jury duty thing. So, so it depends on how long that takes. If I get picked, um, it might be a while. But if I don't get picked, well... Be back to the humdrum life of uh, cleaning trash at the mall and doing my thing here on the internet and buying stuff off the internet and whatnot. So we'll see what happens there. Um, also, um, what? Uh, 
Also, this coming Tuesday will be the sneak, um, sneak actually the early premiere of Pressure Luck, but due to the fact that the NBA Finals um, Game Five will be on ABC on Monday. If if let's say the Raptors swept the Warriors, we would have had we would have had an early mon- I would have had a hard time going from Raw to Pressure Luck, Raw and Pressure Luck, unless they aired, you know. Oh, that's right. You know, press, uh, Raw doesn't end until 11. But the good news is it'll be a, um, be a, a premiere, early premiere broadcast on Tuesday at 10.01 till 11. So I'll be up um, after SmackDown Live, obviously. I'm going to go and watch 205 Live on the computer and on, on the network while I watch Pressure Your Luck on my high-def, 40-inch high-def smart TV, which is going to be pretty cool. Elizabeth Banks will be hosting it. Lots of promos and pre, uh, sneak previews. I'm looking forward to Pressure Your Luck. And they're actually going to have a bonus round where one player will try to walk away with $1 million as they fight off the nefarious Whammy. As you know, the Whammy has his own Twitter account. Would you believe that? And um, Interesting conversation with him already. <laughs> so <clears throat> he's like, I'll take the cash only. And I put a... Um, yeah, you know, the more cash they have, the, the better I like it. And he says, so I put a bullseye, like, say, you got a point. Yeah, you're right, bullseye. He goes, I'll take the colorful facts at $300, but I'll just take the cash. Really funny, isn't it? Really funny, Whammy. Um, at Whammy The, that's um, under the uh, ABC.com. I thought it was hilarious. So you want to, if you're a Pressure Luck fan, hardcore Pressure Luck fan, follow the Whammy. Yeah, you, know, you never know. Watch and and uh, keep your merchandise with you at all times under lock and key, because you never know when that Whammy will get you. You know, <laughs> so I'm excited about Pressure Luck, Card Sharks too, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's summer, we're getting fun and games. I love it. We're gonna be great. And go for the state of Texas. Anyways, I watched a little bit of Three Stooges today. Uh, it was like the best of Mo, which I think is hilarious. I love the Three Stooges as always, and I'll probably be watching more Three Stooges as we go along. Uh, um. I'm going to hold off on. I was thinking about doing the. Get, I'm going to hold. I'm thinking about holding off on it until I get Super Mario Maker 2. Once I get Super Mario Maker 2, I'm going to create some insane levels, and um, and I will broadcast those levels to you on later episodes as well. So I'm um, kind of looking forward to it. So uh, once I I did pre-order for the game on Amazon, so uh, it hasn't come in yet. I have 20 day, We have 20 days left. Because it's coming out June 28th, so I'm kind of pretty excited. I'm about three weeks, and about yeah, in about three weeks, so I'm really excited about that. Um, like I said, Flint Wednesday Festival. Um, also, um, as you know, on a sad note, um, Sears Auto Center will be closing in about. Oh, excuse me. On a sad note, Sears Auto Center will be closing in about two weeks. Um, a week from this Friday, actually, this coming Friday. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a verbal tribute to Sears Auto Center because it has played a huge impact in my family's life. I'll explain more on that when I do that episode. So uh, we'll see. <clears throat> so it's just a little tribute, way of saying uh, more of a thank you because if it had not been for Sears, Sears Auto Center, I don't know what would, what would have happened for me and my family today. So, uh, <clears throat> so I'll, expl- I'll explain more on that. Once we once we get to it, and uh, so that is uh, it's it's something that um, I uh, it, it's something that uh, I uh, just really enjoy. Um, it, it's something that I just really enjoy uh, being is uh, being myself, having fun, and everything else, <clears throat> and. Um, Here's uh, what I want to talk about today. Um, actually, this evening. It's already uh, evening time, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that were going on, you know, all over social media. Uh, a lot of like more of a negative side type type of deal. I never. I usually, I usually bring the entertainment and positivity and have fun. I figured. I always like to bring awareness of a few things, okay? Awareness, because we want to be well aware of what's going on. We want to be aware of what's happening, and that way we can learn how to, uh, you know, get our minds right, get our minds focused, and everything else. And so I figured I'll give some, you know, sage advice out there to people and all that. Um, we see a lot of, you know, people on the Internet, you know, trying to be YouTube famous, and uh, 
Me, personally, I don't want to be famous. Uh, you know, the reason why I'm doing this, like I said before, is just to share my heart and share my life to the world. You know, nothing else but. But, you know, what disturbs me is people going on YouTube, especially especially the men. They go on and they, you know, and they, they act like they have some kind of misogyny problem. And misogyny is, uh, what kind of the word, is of hatred towards women. That's the thing. You know, and that and that really bothers me because, you see, you know, the the major example for that will be Elliot Roger. I mean, what happened? You know, what happened to him? And I don't know why. You know, people would do this on YouTube. It really disturbs me. It really bothers me because you know, like if you're hurting inside, you get, get help. You know what I mean? You know, listen, listen. I have bad luck with women too, but I'm not going to be on here on YouTube complaining about it and whining about it. You know, and and I don't want to go. Oh, I hate women. You know, I'm not going to do that. It's that's, that's stupid. It's it's really stupid. And they, you know, and people are really rotten sometimes on the internet. And you know, they they don't know. It's like they I do I do video sometimes when I you know be serious and share, and they these guys make jokes about it. And like, dude, the reason why I'm talking about it is not because. Of what you're thinking, you know, they mis, you know, they sometimes, you know, it's like they hear parts of what they choose to hear parts of what I say, and they decide to twist that and try to use it against me, you know. <clears throat> it's happened, especially when I talk about my ex crush, you know. And listen, I, when I was younger, I was really angry with her, you know. I was really angry, and I personally blamed her for my uh, bad luck with women. This was along with my younger days. Now that I'm older and wiser, it's like, I don't need to do that no more. I don't, you know, I realized that I was wrong of what I did, my behavior towards her. And I made a mistake. And that mistake, I ended up paying for it. And uh, the punishment is, is that, you know, she is not speaking to me in 24 years. But that's God's way you know, punishing me. And that's fine. Now, I accepted that. You know, I'm a man enough to accept that. But if it's God's will for my ex crush and I to be friends again, he can make it happen. If not, well, I go on with my life. That's the way it is, you know. But I am not going to be wallowing in that, you know, because I know what I did was wrong. And I made a mistake. And But there are guys out there that seem to have the problem with not letting go. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I have to acknowledge it because there's some people out there that, you know, that don't understand. <clears throat> You know, they don't understand, and, and that's why, you know, I have some friends who, you know, you know, they have a crush on somebody. I said, listen, be careful, man. Don't get too far. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do not do anything. And I give them advice because I've been there. You know what I'm saying? We have to be very, very careful how we treat women and how we, um, how we approach them and all that. We need to be respectful towards them. <clears throat> no matter what, I mean, we saw, you know, lots of uh, sexual harassment cases going on, and especially on the President of the United States as well. And it's like, you know, and we we men, we have to stop that. And it starts with us. You know, we have to treat women with a lot more respect, and that's what we do. And I'm not perfect. You know, <clears throat> listen, I have 85% of the house I live in right now are are, are female. All right? My mother and my four sisters, you know, but I get along with them, you know. I, you know, they usually pick on me and all that, and you know, I say five sisters. I have <clears throat> another one living in Dartmouth, um, another one living in Taunton. That's seven altogether, and I have two brothers, and that's a big family. And it's hard, you know. I'm just really excited about, you know my family, and I'm really proud of them. I love each and every one of them. My mom, my, that's why my sisters are getting involved in my church, which is really, really cool. Uh, my, one of my sisters, Jasmine, is uh, playing a ukulele for our music ministry band. Uh, my other sister, Jaira, who um, is part of the, um, you know, the sound, you know, the media ministry, as my uh, the youngest in the house, Rebecca, my youngest sister, is uh, involved in uh, sound ministry, while my other sister, Jada, is an artist, and um, 
and sometimes usher, helps usher in the church once in a while. And my mother's involved in the music ministry as well, and as well in the children's church. And I'm really proud of all my sisters, and I'm really proud, you know, what they have become. You know, two of my sisters became moms, got married. You know, and that, you know, they're, I think women should be more of an inspiration for us to uh, better ourselves as men. And that's what we need to, you know, we need to be, is um, better men growing up. And I mean, you know, sometimes, yeah, and we find, if I find the right girl, that's fine. But some people say I'm better off. And you know what? I, you know, they could be right, you know. I like having fun being, I like being single and having a lot of fun. Just, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, having, you know, walking with somebody or holding hands and act like a tall goofball and embarrassing her, you know what I'm saying? You know. Let's say, let's say, I go, or I can make a goofy face, and she's over there, and and I have a girlfriend, she's over there going, oh my god, he's gonna make that goofy face. I'd be like, Ehh. and she'd be like, oh my god, you know, something like that. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm like, you know, but you know what? I'm gonna have fun being, I'm, I'm having fun being single, doing everything solo. You know, some people ask, why are you going to the movie solo? Why are you going to the movies by yourself? Why are you doing this by yourself? Because I'm like having fun by myself. You know what I'm saying? And just, <laughs> all right. It's okay. It's all good with me, you know. It's it's all good in the hood, you know. <laughs> it's all good. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's it's all good, man. It's all good, you know. I crack myself up sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, but still, we got to be more respectful towards the women in our lives and women in general. And that's what we need to be, you know. We, and especially, <clears throat> you know, in the Bible. In Timothy, and I forget where. You know, you know, you treat, you know, you treat the older people as elders. You, you know, you're supposed to respect your elders, and that's what I think. And, and also in the Bible it says treat younger women like sisters, and that's the thing that we need. You know, protect them. You know, and just and if, and if people, you know, I know we have you know feminism, feminists out there. You know, if they don't want our protection, that's fine. You know, but let you know. Let's be supportive of whatever they do. They want to be the CEO of a company, you know. We'll support that. They want to be going to the army for the Marines and or be a doctor and all that. We got to support, you know, because <clears throat> women have dreams too. We all have dreams, and there's no doubt in my mind <clears throat> that a lot of us have dreams that will come true. There's some dreams that have not been coming true. In my case, you know, and um, <clears throat> it was really, really um. You know, yeah, I've got my heart broken. I got rejected before, but am I gonna go around and be angry and mean and uh, and do something what these crazy, crazy guys do is shoot up places and something like that, and end up uh, killing themselves? No, killing yourselves and violence and everything it never solves the problem. It just makes things worse. And <clears throat> we have we have to stop being misogynistic. We have to stop being that. You know, we have to start respecting women. We have to start respecting people in general. And that's what we need to do. And that's what we need to be. You know, <clears throat> we're gonna, listen, we're going to make mistakes down the road. We're going to make mistakes. We've got to be careful what kind of mistakes we make. We better not make major ones that, that will be costly. You know, it could cost us some, it could, it could get, it, you know, forces to get some jail time and all that. We have to be careful how we treat women. We have to be careful. We need to be careful. You know, people get sensitive. There's, there's some sensitive people in this world, and you know, and people get oversensitive, and you know, sometimes they freak out and flip out. You know, and if we don't start behaving ourselves properly in proper manners. And be respectful towards others, especially women, especially our elders. Then, this isn't you know, when we know society's gone down the drain. All right, but we there's some of us, some of us good guys out there have to try to keep, you know, try are trying to remember what we've been taught as kids growing up. And that's what then that will segue into my thing. It's gonna be a long video, I can tell. Uh, we're going from respecting women to being a zenial. So what's a zenial? A zenio is basically a, mil a millennial in between the digital age and the analog age. All right, simple as that. What's a zenio? How do you spell it? Well, if you take millennial, the word millennial, get the three first three letters out of the word millennial and replace it in an X, you got zenio. 
uh, it's basically somebody who was born between 1977 and 1983. So, I was born in 1977. It's like the end of Generation X into, you know, Exennial. So, I am an Exennial. Um, so, we've been taught, you know, <clears throat> we're old, we, we're taught some old school values, you know, the matter of yes, sir, no, sir, uh, Mr., we call people Mr. and Mrs. We, uh, we're supposed to respect everybody, including women. All right, that's what I want to get to. I'm old school, and the, I think the reason why is I'm very old school, and how to treat women is respect. You hold a door, you know, be nice to them, you know, <clears throat> be respectful, and that's the thing, you know, you don't, you know, it's like I'm not, I'm not doing it just to score brownie points with them at all, or just to score with them. Period. I'm just, I want, I'm just doing, I'm doing that to let them know, hey, we're decent people, you know, there's some us decent people in this world, you know. We know society has gone down the drain. We know how, uh, you know how people misbehave. We, and it's and it's, it's it's really disgusting. All right, it's really disgusting. And sometimes, personally, I'm disgusted the way people behave nowadays. You know, we go on the internet. You know, people make fun of people. You know, they you know they troll you, they disrespect you, they bully you, and all that. And I listen. I've been there. Trust me. And sometimes I, I take a stand. I did rant videos on this, getting angry, upset. Throwing a few swear words in between, but we got to, you know, being a Xenio, I enjoy it because I enjoy old school stuff while learning new school stuff. And, you know, it's like it's coming, they're coming together, the digital age and the analog age. Like nowadays, you know, I get excited because we can actually, you know, I, listen, I remember, I got a 40 inch LS, L, L, LSD, was it LSD? Is it LDS or something? I forget. Uh, high def. 40-inch high-def smart TV. And you're thinking to yourself, how are you going to play old-school video games with the old-school consoles? You know, they come out with so many things where you're able to do that with a high-def, you know, cable, you know, and little devices that could really, has really, really helped us make a difference. And just, boom, it's there. It's it's on. And it's like, wow, you know, mind-blowing. And I look at some of the stuff, it's like, Holy crap! You know what I'm saying? It's like holy crap! We can do, this. you know, I you know I discovered a lot of things on Amazon and eBay, you know, and it was like how you play old school video games, and you can have emulate, you have a you know SD card with emulators. You got to buy the special device known as the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's one, two, and three. I bought number three because that's the highest you can get. You can have you know over ten thousand, a hundred thousand games with one little teeny tiny card, and it's Unreal. I played rare video games that I wanted to play, and they haven't got a chance to play them. I played them now. As you see, someone have something to get these thumbs. Maybe that's why I'm. Uh, but I'm holding it off, like I said, until Super Mario Maker 2 comes out, and I get my copy, and I'll start creating levels. I'll start being wacky with them, and people, and I'll start being insane again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, you know, what? Do, so I am just, you know. You know, you got, you got a lot of people disp- um, spreading drama on there, but we have to spread some positivity, guys, and that's what we need to do. And just, you know, it's not that easy, I know, and I understand it's not that easy. I know a lot of things, you know, a lot of people do things wrong and all that, but you know what? You, we just got to, uh, you know, stand our ground, stand who we are. You know, it's like, nope, I'm not going like, to, I don't get roped into politics or organized religion. You know, I'm a born again Christian. Yes, I. You know, I've been taught the Bible and taught the Word. You know, and all that. And you, you talk about in politics. You talk, hey, you know, we have you know the whole thing about the Gay Pride Week or something like that. You know, even though I don't follow the lifestyle of homosexuality or being gay, but that does not mean I hate the gay people. That does not mean that at all. Just to let you know, because the Bible, John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world," that means He loved everybody. You know, the funny thing is the Bible never says to hate gay people. It never says to hate any kind of people. It doesn't mention that one bit. In fact, heck, the Bible says, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. Now, I don't hate I don't hate the trolls that troll me, but blocking them would hopefully would teach them a lesson. You got to respect me. Don't expect me to respect you if you don't respect me. That's the message I said. If you don't, you know, listen, and, and people laugh, you know, they laugh at me and they say I'm a coward and all that. No, I'm not being a coward. 
I'm I'm being firm. I'm you know I'm standing. You know, listen. You don't respect me. Don't expect to respect you. Because I don't want to hear any of your garbage. That's what it is. You know, is like you know that's basically what it is. It's like, I don't want to hear any any more of your garbage, any more of your lies, any more of your uh, bunk. That's why I block people. You know, the word is respect. The word is you know, you know the key word is respect and everything going on and just it's crazy. I know life is crazy. Society's nuts, and you know, with a lot of things are, you know a lot of things going on and just it's a, it's amazing. It's 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 amazing and just wow you know. But being an Xenio is something I'm proud of, and um, I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with. You know, I got old school stuff, and hopefully I do some online swag. Like, my old school Chuck E. Cheese, I like Chuck E. Cheese. You know, back in the day, when I was a kid, I used to go to, um, I, used to go to I went to Chuck E. Cheese for my cousin's birthday party sometimes, up in Fall River. We used to have a Chuck E. Cheese up in Fall River, you know, prior to the one here in Dartmouth. Um, you know, and I, you know, my favorite part of Chuck E. Cheese is the video games. I go, you know, find the video games. That's where I first saw Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja, um... You know, Super Mario Brothers, you know, and all the, you know, I get really excited about that. It like puts a smile on my face. Now, it was like, who needs all those arcade games where you can actually play them at home and, you know, Nintendo Switch, got the Nintendo Switch, download it all. It's just amazing, you know. It's like, I love the old school stuff, but yet, in order to get to the old school stuff, you have to learn the new school stuff, like the computers and how to work, how to download things and all that. It's amazing. So, being an Xenio is really, really cool. And, like I said, also, you've been taught the old school stuff, like how, you know, how to respect women, how to hold a door for them and all that, and be respectful, say Mr. and Mrs. And uh, you know, sometimes I call people Mr. and Mrs. They say, yeah, don't call me Mr. and Mrs. You're making me feel old, you know. You know, and to them, it's like an insult to them, you know. But they're, if they're totally friendly, and I can understand where they're coming from, you know. And, you know, sometimes, you know, if I, you know, if I go like, Miss, you know, Mr. and Mrs. C or something like that, and my dad goes, call them by their real name. I, like, I can't pronounce their name, Dad. You know what I'm saying? You know? But, uh, you know, my dad has scolded me a couple of times, you know, it's Mr. and Mrs. something to you. And I said, fine, you know. And I try to respect, and, and respecting people is what I do, uh, what I need to do, what I have to do. And, uh, you know, everybody, including women, you know. I have to respect everybody. That's the you know you know, and that's the way it is. You know, they want to live their lifestyle the way they want to they want to live it. That's f fine by me. You know, it doesn't bother me a lick. You know, but uh, just don't force it upon me. I won't force my beliefs and everything else upon everybody, everyone else. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm I'm more like you know you know. It's like you know I love talking you know talking about the Lord and talking about the Bible, talking about the Word and all that. But I'm not don't want to force it. But at the same time. I want to set an example, and that's, I think that's what we need to be, set an example, you know, listen, I'm not going to, listen, just because I'm a born-again Christian does, does not mean I'm perfect, because I'm not perfect, by any stretch of the imagination, you know, if you, th if I was perfect, all right, I would have every woman knocking down on my door wanting me, wanting to marry me, if I was perfect. All right. If I was perfect, I wouldn't be living in my parents' basement. If I was perfect, I wouldn't be having a, cr uh, a crummy job at minimum wage, picking up trash at the mall local mall. If I was perfect. But unfortunately, I'm not. But you know what, though? I take what I can get nowadays. And I'm thankful for it. And a lot of people pick on me. Society, you know, in, in, in society's terms, if you're living in your parents' basement, you're a loser. That's in society's terms. But is, you know, society does not understand wh uh, what we've been through, what we have. You know, you, people talk about autism, um, Asperger syndrome. Okay, um, my nephew TC has autism, and you know, didn't think you know didn't think about that. And I thought, okay, I've, I've, I've been looking, you know. Friends with people who have this kind of thing, you know, have Asperger syndrome, which my mother and I had discussion about. This is what a week before my 40th birthday, and she said you might have a high functioning version of autism known as Asperger syndrome. Now, would I get upset about it? No, it's like oh, this is interesting, you know. And then also, I would look at why, you know, oh, this is why I've been acting like this. This is why I'm. This is why I've been like this, you know. But I don't use it as an excuse, so it's it's a big, big, big thing for me. And uh, 
Speaking of speaking of which, um, this is like um some have a school in Indiana. They had a, a celebration at the Golden Corral, and giving out awards, and they gave some teacher gave this autistic boy an award for being the most annoying person, annoying student, and that really hurt. And that really, you know, it's like, does that teacher understand what that young young kid is going through? I mean, he's nonverbal. He, you know, he, he you know. The father was so embarrassed, you know, was so upset, you know, I, not embarrassed, he was so angry. Embarrassed, not the word, angry. And he decided, he wanted to leave the award at the restaurant to the teacher, so go, don't forget your reward, award. If I was a parent, I would have snapped that award right in front of her and said, don't you dare do that to my son ever again. The board will hear about this. And just walk, and take, take your family and walk out. Or put that award in the trash. That's what I would have done. Or we'll take the award home, rip, and try to get get the label of most annoying off, and put most loved child. That's what I would have done. And it was disgusting that people pick on us, um, half autistic. It was Asperger syndrome and all that. Listen, we're not. We never used any any um, autism or Asperger syndrome or anything, any neurological disorder. As, as an excuse for our behavior. We mess up, we'll mess up. And sometimes we usually do it again or, you know, we make our own decisions and say, okay, that's it, I've had enough. I'm going to make a change in my life. Is, life is not going to, life is not going to handle us anything, you know, easy, you know. I didn't have it easy when I was a kid growing up. Never had it easy. Never. Teenager, never had it easy. Never had it easy. Nothing came easy for me. And everybody picks on and everybody picks on me. And everybody picks on me. And they want me off YouTube and crap like that. Let it go. Knock it off. All right. You want to judge me by my profile pic and everything? At least I have enough guts to put up a profile pic unless some of you guys out there you decide to hide behind something else. If I want to put a profile pic other than myself, it's like in tribute to somebody. Like you know, one time you know I I did that when I was I did put other profile pics of myself just to experiment. You know. Well, that's when people make jokes about it. But I figured, you know what? I'd rather be real and be real with people <clears throat> better than um, everything, you know, better than um, better than hiding behind somebody or hide behind a Twitter egg or a shadow or something like that. It's <clears> – and uh, – and it's something that um, – you know, I, listen, life, you know, I can get, you know, some saying, oh, you have to get used to being bullied and all that, you know, negative. Yeah, I can, and, and yeah, yeah, I can, and no, I don't have to. I can, I can, I can hear, I can see comments from people, and then if it's a comment I don't like, I delete the comments and block that person, because I don't want to be disrespected. I don't want people seeing garbage on my videos. That's why I had to go through that whole ordeal between 2016 and 2017, when I was associated with my friend Jason DeCano, and somebody got on my case about this, and I had to deal with it. I had to put up with it for two years. And I, had, I haven't dealt with it since. And you know what? And praise God, you know, God is good all the time. <clears throat> you know, life isn't going to be pretty. All right? It isn't going to be all sunshine and rainbows and puppies leaping the air and unicorns flying all over the place and rainbow bright. Throwing flowers or something like that. You just got to deal with what we deal with. You know, I always thought that, you know, when we hit the year 2000, back in the 80s, with our flying cars, everybody being in space and all that. Nope. We still have pavement roads, cars with tires, and driving in the snow. It would have been easier for me. I could say, hey, a flying car. Don't worry about driving in the snow. I'll go to work. I'll shovel the snow. It's like, wait a minute. Do, do people... People can fly, you know, have flying carts or flying scooters too. They don't have to. We don't have to worry about shoveling snow. We just, you know, like the Jetsons. You know, live our lives like the Jetsons, and that ain't happening. So, being in Xenio is really, really cool, and I like and I enjoy it. I enjoy being in Xenio. I'm, you know, learning old school stuff and learning new school stuff, and learning from the old school and learning from the new school. 
blending in. It's really, really cool, and it's awesome. And um, I live my life like I can. Don't worry. I'm not going to worry about women. I'm not going to worry about getting married and all that good stuff. I'm going to worry about, you know, make, you know <clears throat> trying to make a living, trying to do my job, and just try and try to be happy and smile and just um, enjoy life and enjoy what God is, you know, the gifts that, you know, use the gift that God has given me and use these gifts that God has given me, I should say. I'm trying to say gift, gifts, plural gifts that God has given me and, you know, and, sp- and share them with the world, share them with you guys out there and with my family. I've always been thankful and that's the way I am. And just, you know, I'm, not, you know, sometimes society does disgust me a little bit. But you know what? You know, that's cool. So that's all the time we have on this show. As you know, sorry for the long rant. But I figured I wouldn't spill my heart and, my, you know, what was going on in my, my mind, my heart, and just, you know, honest opinion, um, what what my thoughts are on a few things and all that good stuff. So <clears throat> this is the heart of a Xenial. That's right. The Hawks. H-O-X. Heart of, a, of, of an Xenial. So uh, that is episode 260. So... Like I said, um, holding off on the, I said, I'm holding off to get these uh, thumbs episodes, unless you request, you know, what game do you want me to play, and uh, I'll say yes or no to it, you know, because some games, there's some certain games I like to play, there's some certain games I won't play, or don't know how to play, don't want to play because I'm not a fan, like I don't want to play any Pokemon games or something like that, or, you know, maybe you guys make a suggestion, you know, who knows. So I'm holding off until Super Mario Maker 2 comes out. Once it does, I'm going to start creating levels and set and uh, <clears throat> and uh, bring them to you. It's going to be a lot of fun. New things, new levels, new enemies, new elements. I'm really looking forward to it. Bam. And uh, as you know, uh, I'm going to do a Sears Auto Center tribute. Um, that will be on the day that finally closes. That's June 21st. Um, upcoming will be Super Mario Maker levels. Um, Pressure of luck. I will give my thoughts on that after I see the sneak preview uh, and all that good stuff o- uh, over that week. Stomping Grounds is coming up June 23rd, and I will make my picks and predictions once all the matches are set, once the entire card has been brought out. Um, well, City Festival coming up June 11th, 14th. I will give you information how you want to get involved in that. You know, I, that way um, you, we can do it. We can do that. Um, Let's see. So we'll see what happens this coming week. Um, tomorrow it starts a new week, a brand new week. Um, looks like I found like a brand new room. We're gonna have comp- we're gonna have a great time and everything else in between. Bring you some more episodes of entertainment and fun and possible and more of speaking from the heart if need be. It's Eric Lima. Um, God's love, life, and light and blessings to all of you out there. Catch you on the flip side. And remember, pay attention. You just might learn something from the heart of this Xenio. I'll see you later. Episode 260 is complete. Have a great and wonderful um, evening because it's 8.22 p.m. Must have been done this video for a long time. <laughs> and um, enjoy uh, enjoy the new week coming up, starting tomorrow. And... Um, Bruins will take the Stanley Cup in seven games. I don't think the Bruins will quit yet. No. And uh, Raptors will win. Raptors will be the first um, will be the first Canadian basketball team to capture a, an NBA title. That's my prediction on that. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>